Abby, and this is Abby Matt Reads. Hello. And this is my penguin, Spencer. This is my tiara from um, my birthday cake, which amazingly I still have a piece of left. But it came with a little plastic tiara on the top because it's a princess cake because I am princess. Yay. Princess Abby. Princess Abby. Mm. And princess of Spenny Land. Yay, best land. Best land where cats and penguins are friends. Mm. And yes, I am eating ice cream because it's the ice cream tag. Oh, just about got it out. Just about, yeah, because like, all I can think about is ice cream. Um, Sam tagged me from sarcasm and sci-fi and I am so thrilled <laughs> because anything that involves ice cream. <laughs> yep, yeah, as, soon, as soon as she watched the video, she rang me because I was in town. She's like, oh, you can't believe what I've just been tagged in. I know, right? She was so excited. I, I couldn't believe it. So thank you very much, Sam, for tagging me. Um, Sam's link will be in the description below. And, um... You should really check out her channel. She does really great stuff. Um, it is, as it says on the tin, sarcasm and sci-fi. It's hilarious and it's really good quality. So, I will be answering questions about books whilst eating ice cream. Woo! Good for me. Um, <laughs> She's happy. So, all right then. Shall we get started? Yeah. Right then, numero question one, a vanilla, a book you wished had a bit more flavour. Mm. And I said oh. I'll be passing the books to her because she's too busy eating ice cream. Mm -hmm. The Last Tudor by Philippa Gregory. I was quite disappointed. I, I liked it. Are you going gonna to keep waving it around like that? A little bit, I don't know. See what happens. Mm. I, I should hold it like this like a good boy for five more seconds. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm going to take this off because it's falling off. It's annoying me. But um, this is the last um, Tudor book. I've done a review of it, so which will Yeah, be up there in the ident or something up there. Yeah. But um, I, I, it was the last Tudor book that Philippa Gregory wrote, and I hoped it would be a lot more. In fact, it was the least favourite Philippa Gregory book I've ever read. Mm. And it started off well with Lady Jane Grey. Um, you know, like um, in the tower and all that. But the second half of the book was basically just like the sisters imprisoned and like listening and relaying gossip they'd heard about about what was going on in the royal court. So no. So what's the next question, babe? Next question is my least favorite flavor: chocolate. Because I'm quite poisoned by chocolate. But Which is why I don't have to share. <laughs> so she's happy about that. And so chocolate, a long book or an immersive world you you enjoyed indulging in. And it is a, it's a big old book. Yeah. She's going to hold Anything this one. Anything from the Kinsbridge trilogy from Ken Follett. Um, this is the third in the trilogy, A Column of Fire. And they're all set in this um, fictional village that becomes more and more produ productive and powerful over the three books um that, that's it basically the first one is basically about building the cathedral which is this orange thing here and it sounds boring but he makes the the world yeah you hold it yeah but it makes the world just so immersive and so um just so detailed and so so enthralling and the characters and all the little subplots that go on it's just so so intense and i i loved all three books and all three books were like a thousand pages long but they were so worth reading okay very good so number three strawberry a romance that was super sweet mm. And I struggled with this one. No. No, it's not yet. Oh, okay then. <laughs> no, I said I'll tell you. He doesn't listen. Pardon? No. Oh, well, I, I always that catch all out. The time. No, you don't always catch me out. <laughs> you never, ever catch me out. That's what she thinks. It's the truth. There's what Spencer thinks, and then there's the truth. Hmm. 
But anyway, the uh, a romance, yeah, because I don't actually read books that contain romance. But then, I thought of a great one. Hermione and Ron from Harry Potter. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah, which will come up somewhere. Yeah, I'll be up there somewhere. There. That is the best romance in a book, I think, because I don't really read romance, so... I don't know of any sweet romances in books, but that one, and I love that one. Hermione and Ron are great for one another. Uh-huh. And I know a lot of people say that Harry should have got with Hermione. No. Do you agree with me on that I one? do. That is one thing I do agree with you on. Mm. Praise the Lord, it has happened. <laughs> a miracle, you've seen it here live. Yeah. Oh, recorded. Recorded, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is how his brain doesn't work. I know. Okay then, so next up... Okay, an ice cream sundae, a book encompassing all the elements you love. After this, I have chosen Jane Eyre. No, yeah, be again. It'll be it'll be floating somewhere. Because it does have it all. It's a classic, and I love reading classics. And Jane Eyre was the first classic I read out of school, and um, it's got elements and twists in it that I like that are quite creepy actually and surprise you and there's the kind of romance like I don't say I read romance but it it's a different kind of romance between Jane Eyre and Mr Rochester and there's also you know there's this element of adventure and 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 that based in the times that it is you know I like reading books that are based in history obviously it wasn't based in history it was based at the time it was written but you you understand yeah so my answer for that is Jane Eyre by by um uh, Charlotte Bronte oh well done <laughs> yeah right, and so next question up as I'm as I'm being molested by a cat which which uh, this this one is is actually ours. He's, he's no, got, that's he's got, not. Uh, is it not ours? I don't, we we've got one black cat. And we've got another one who comes in. They look they look exactly the same. Yeah, oh, I can never tell that's the difference. That's why we call him Imposter Cat or James, as in James Bond. Yeah, and he comes in and he just he just nags us for food. Mm. Yeah, but anyway, but back to this uh, next one. Okay, uh, da, 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 da. a milkshake, a book that blends genres. For this. I have chosen a book I luckily borrowed off a friend because I loved it. And it's The Blind Assassin but Blind Assassin by Margaret Atwood. And you can't put labels on, on this book. It's so different from anything I've ever read before. I mean for once there's there's for one thing there's a book within a book. Mm. Um, and within that book that book is part sci-fi part romance and then with the actual narrative that goes on in the rest of the book it's like mystery and stuff so it's like really cool so yeah oh wicked okay and so next one and uh, I'm, I'm, I might finally get to get, 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 get to hold, hold, hold that book up now Sprinkles a book with a colourful cover hey now- your time has come yeah, here we go. Right one this time. No, I did, I did, I did this in my last tag as well. It's a pretty cover, boring book. That's all I got to say about it. Moving on, rather quickly. <laughs> can could have been hold that one for long. Okay, so ice cream cake, which I've some, I haven't heard of till recently, but oh well. A book worthy of a celebration. Well, about three years ago. I read War and Peace. Woo-hoo! Yeah. <coughs> it's a milestone in every bookworm's life. Hold it a bit closer to the camera, Spencer. Not that close. No. Like, like, be sp- like, do it exa- everything exactly as I want you to without me having to tell you how I want it done. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but it's a milestone to read War and Peace in your book bookish lifetime and um i did like it the 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 there's these really long battle scenes that that kind of drag that i didn't like so much but all the the 
the history of the families and and their their interactions and stuff it was quite thrilling and it has and it has got a special place in my heart and, and it took me about a month to read blimey yeah because it's it's very long the, the writing is tiny but um i finished it and i think that's worthy of a celebration yep definitely so okay next ice cream cookie sandwich or three scoops on a cone a book with multiple perspectives i just finished a book from the library so i don't have it and it's called um big little man in the uk in the us it's called big little love mm. And it's about a boy who wants to find his father and it's told through perspectives of his, him, this 10 year old boy, um, Zach, his mother mm. and, and his grandfather. And there's a family secret that they don't really want to know. And it's so heartwarming and it's such, such a sweet book. I do recommend you read it. Okay, and so next one, a Waffle Cone, a book you felt compelled to read very quickly. Sharp Objects by Jill. Oh, that was quite cute. <laughs> Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. Um, I was hooked as soon as I started reading this, which was not long ago. It was last week, and um. I I think I, I read it in about two days, which is fast for me, because I am a fast reader, but lately I've been a bit slower than normal, so that that was good. That, and it's very gripping, it's very, very good. So that, that was it. Okay, and so next one. Pint, a book you set aside, but plan on going back to later. Well... I have actually read this book, Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantle. Um, I read it, but I read it too fast and I didn't take it in. And it is a very hard book to read because her writing style is very academic and not easily accessible. So I do plan to read Wolf Hall again one day and take it in properly. Okay, so that's the end of all the book type questions, but, yeah. we're, but we're not done people, we've still got mm -hmm. more to go. Okay, so now we're on to the proper ice cream questions. And first up, cup or cone? Cone every time. Gotta be cone. Yeah. Can't, can't, can't be a good, a, good, a good old cone of ice cream at the beach. Nope. So that's that one. Next one, favourite flavour? Um, raspberry. Mm, okay then. No, do you remember? Probably not. How obsessed I was with those raspberry magnums. Oh yeah, you was yeah, a while back now. Yeah, but yeah, you and was. If if I if they had them in Asda, I would still buy them because I love them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, you did love them. And so next up, toppings, yay or nay? Well, no, because I only eat Ben and Jerry's at the moment, so it would be stupid to put toppings on them because mm, chocolate. You could put chocolate on it. Make it even more chocolatey. Yeah, and make it even more unaccessible for him to eat because he can't eat chocolate. Mm, mm. No. If it's in a bowl, then I like chocolate sauce and mm. nuts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, I like strawberry sauce. Strawberry sauce and ice cream is beautiful. Yeah. Yep. Okay, then. So next up, favourite local ice creamery. We live in a really boring town. Yep. We have no local ice creamery, as I was about to put it. So, move on. Move on. Last one. Best shared with friends, which is something I don't think Abby agrees with when it comes to ice cream. <laughs> but who are you tagging to do this next? I am tagging Hannah from Hannah Books and Other Things. Hannah from P.S. I Love That Book because she's looking for new tags to do. My good friend Alex Black and my good friend Rachel Marie. Woo! Can you do my outro while so I can eat ice cream? Oh, see, see, bring ice cream into it, all goes rubbish. But okay then, here we go. If you've enjoyed that video, please give it a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. I'm not always here, so if you want to, want to subscribe just to see her, I don't blame you. 
yeah, subscribe, hit the little bell button if you do subscribe, just so then you'll get notified every single time Abby releases a video. And yep, she's on Twitter, twitter.com slash Abby Matt Reads. She's got a Facebook page, facebook.com slash Abby Matt Reads. And I think that's everything. Thank you very much for watching. Abby's going to eat all the rest of that ice cream while I go upstairs and uh, edit this. So uh, we'll see you all later. Bye.